Aquarius Capricorn to your love reading for singles for February. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. Last message, please, for the single Sagittarius Capricorns. Um, we are looking at what are you attracting into your life as we speak right now? Who is coming towards you and what are you attracting? You are attracting a person that has inner peace, a person who's already gone through the healing, um, has the inner peace that feels comfortable, knows themselves, knows what they want, are very courageous. I love that. Okay, so, and someone who knows what they want for their life purpose. So this is a very stable person, a person who has the stability in life. They know what they want and they're going after it, or they already have it and are already on that path. So very beautiful energy of what you're attracting over here. This is a person that, that also has the life purpose of knowing what love is and wanting a very stable commitment of inner peace as well. So I like that. Yes, this person needs to have a lot of anxiety that feels like they've already found that inner peace within themselves, not having that insomnia, not having that anxiety anymore. Um, yes, they have had a death card. They have had the ending for the new beginning where the cycle has changed. So you're definitely bringing in this person, could be a Gemini or a Scorpio that you're um, either manifesting or this is, your energy is attracting this person into your life as we speak. So just knowing that this person has had some kind of ending, um, you might even know who this person is. Maybe you're waiting for this person. Um, take it how it resonates. Let's see. You might even be waiting for them to make the overall ending with another relationship um, and just waiting for this whole scenario to kind of transform. Okay. Um, the obstacle that's in the way at this time is resolving conflict. There it is. I'm going to move this forward a little bit. I don't know. It just feels like it's so big. <laughs> a resolving conflict over here. It does feel like they, there has to be an ending that's taking place. Um, I do feel like this other person does have a relationship, guys. Um, and you're waiting for them to resolve this conflict within themselves to find the inner peace. Um, really go after that inner peace. Or they have already found this inner peace and you're waiting for them to do the ultimate transformation. So take that how it resonates. It's going to be a little bit different for everyone because I do feel like it could be one or the other. And I think it depends on, you know, who you're dealing with since it's a general reading. But once they get past this conflict um, of either finding this inner peace within themselves There's still a conflict within the situation. You got Guys, if they've already found their inner peace and you know that they're still conflicted just by having this other person around who's trying to pull at their strings, that could be a huge possibility. They need to release that energy. Or it might be you. Yeah, for the overall abundance. Because there is an overall abundance that's coming this way for you. Yeah. They've let go of that, but this other person still pulls on their heartstrings one way or another. Okay, they could have been engaged with this person. I just feel like this is it. They were engaged to this person. Um, they're trying to find this inner peace or allowing this inner peace to go through. They've really worked through a lot of the things that are going on within their lives. Having the overall passion, finding that passion. So it does feel like they really do have to 100% release this other energy, right? Because this other person might be trying to call them back in to make this relationship work while you're trying to call them in as well as you're over here patiently waiting for this other person to come through that you're attracting. It's like they have the attraction for you, but yet they have this other energy that's just really digging at them. But even though they're not in anxiety anymore about the situation does not mean that they're, the cycle is not closed. That's exactly what it is. They need to close the chapter. 
they have to close this chapter down to really get to you in the cycle. So the overall outcome of the situation is compatibility. There's so much compatibility between the two of you. Wow. This is the type of person that, you know, you guys have a lot of self-respect for. They can respect you. There's, you know, the relationship is really great over here. I really like this. There's a lot of joy, a lot of happiness with the serendipity over here saying, you know what, there's a, a silver waterfall coming through. Silver waterfall is saying, this is where we've healed. This is where I've let go. I'm not going to worry about that person anymore in my energy. They can give me what they need, um, right, without having to worry about this person pulling on them anymore. Oh my gosh. So let's get some cards over here. It's so crazy because I do feel like they give your relationship a chance. It's like they want to give this chance to you, but they also has this other person who's like, but I want you to give me the relationship back. Like you can totally hear them. It's some kind of jealous um, energy that's very controlling. They want this person to stay with them. They, Like I said, they could have been engaged to this person and they cut this engagement off. Um, something of this nature or you see what I'm saying? Or you were engaged and you need to cut this person out so that you can allow this person to come through. Take it how it resonates. Energy does flip-flop. However it is, it's giving this relationship a chance, but it just feels like the other person wants that as well. It's almost like you guys are sharing the same feelings. Man, talk about being pulled in two different directions. Um, right? Because you do have the Knight of Cups that's coming through that says, yes, but I want to offer you this cup. Right? I want to give you this love. They don't want to, yeah, no, I made bad choices in the, in the end. I let you go. They're telling this other person, I let you go. Don't you see? I don't have any feelings for you anymore. I'm healed from you. Stop trying to give me your love. And if you know it's not them, if you know who this person is, then you know it's yourself. Um, maybe it's both of you. Who knows? Um, but, uh, yeah, you're like, I found my self-respect. You're not going to treat me like that anymore. Oh, my goodness. And they're really prepared to come out and give you these cups, right? Or you're prepared to give them these cups. But this overall obstacle is just what's kind of lingering around. You really need, you know, they really need to cut these strings. I just feel it's them more than it's you. But if you know, like I said, if you know it's you, then cut those strings. Absolutely. Yeah, because this person that they are dealing with, or you're dealing with, was sneaky and conflictive. And, you know, but they just want to keep holding you. It's almost like it's like an ownership. Like, I got a leash on you. You can't get away from me. I'm trying to just hold tight to those reins. And, you know, it's almost like, it almost feels like in some ways they feel like they may be, like, sneaking away as well, right? To get away from that leash. Like, I'm going to cut this leash and I'm going to sneak away. Be sure to cut the collar off too, though, right? Don't let them grab you by your collar. Yeah, because over here you have the overall connection, a beautiful connection coming through. And for the two of you, right, because remember this passion over here is how they feel about your person. It's like, we were engaged. I still have passion for you. You know, give this relationship a chance, and right? And they're saying, no, release the ex. That's the energy thereof. Do not allow them to have control anymore. They could have been a very codependent, making you feel codependent on them. Um, or they felt like, they're very codependent to this person who's coming in for you, right? But this person really wants to get to know you. This is a new person or a person you've been dealing with for a, a while, um, but you don't still don't know all the, the little details of the person if you've been dealing with them for a while. They're trying to keep an open mind for you. Wow, for a lot of you, that's new love trying to really get there. They have so much attraction for you. Wow. So, and it's just a beautiful connection. Um, and then over here, I'm just get a grab. Whoa, what do we have here? Playfulness with the waterfall. Oh, I guess, yes, in retreat. Look at that. Wanting to take you places, going places. It's time to disconnect from the world. Get connected within this playfulness of this person. Right? Really express your love and let them express their love to you. And, you know, just kind of work on each other. Do not allow any other energies in. Kind of, like, make it feel like it's only you and me on this planet. And that's all that matters. And that's that serendipity, right? It's kind of like, this is just you and me. There nobody else exists. I 
I love that. Don't talk about the exes. Don't talk about any of that. And there's a gift. This is like the gift. You could work, meet this person at work. You could, you know. Um, yeah. Lots of thoughts. Lots of thinking. They may, might even have to go through a divorce to get to this person. Or you may have to get a divorce to get to this person, whoever this person is. Maybe both of you. However, it does say engagement, though. So, right? So even if it's, you know, if it's, it comes down to something that, you know what, they were, you were engaged, I don't know, there's something, maybe they're a judge or a lawyer if there's no divorce involved. Wow. And sudden wealth. Someone's got some money. Someone's got some money, honey. Okay, whether it's you or them, whether you're bringing your sudden wealth into them or whether they're bringing their sudden wealth into you, there is a lot of wealth to be um, thrown around that it could be why you guys are going on these little vacations, doing things like these, these retreats. Um, I don't know. Yeah, somebody's got some money. So, like I said, whether it's you or them or you guys are going to end up, you know, who knows? Maybe one day you'll end up married and you'll just put all your wealth together. <clears throat> wow, what a beautiful reading. See what the time piece is over here, guys. How long does Scorpio Sag over here have to wait for this beautiful person? How long is it going to take for the majority thereof? Give us a couple of time dates. Because everybody's going to be a little bit different. It says wait. Wait for it. Some of you, it's going to be within the week. Whoa! Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. And some of you, it won't even really, really start really going anywhere and for the next, within the next three months. And it's kind of crazy because it could even be like, Within a week, you're going to really notice that things are starting to change around you. Over here, Scorpio Sagittarius, you guys are getting closer and closer. And then within three months, boom, here's the overall outcome, right? It's just like here we are together. Once everything is like done and over and the energy is completely, you know, dismissed and, and all of this, this overwhelming everyone and the obstacles and all these things go away, right? Wow. Very beautiful. Very beautiful reading, my friends. Until next time.